y'all. I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I have a traveler's notebook process video for you. This is my summer traveler's notebook. It's the deconstructed traveler's notebook. I have a video setting it up if you're interested in checking that out. But today I'm going to do two different entries and I want them to kind of relate color wise because they're going to be back to back or side by side but they don't relate subject wise we're talking about father's day and then my daughter starting her goalie camp so we're going to put those in um, i have a few supplies pulled i will try to link everything that i end up using down below if you're interested in checking any of it out otherwise let's go and here is one of the reasons that I love working in a deconstructed traveler's notebook. I can just take my pages out. It is so much easier to work with them. So this is a paper from Journals for Life, and it is a small paper company that um, kind of specializes almost in traveler's notebooks. Their papers are formatted for a traveler's notebook. They are a great company. Um, and I ordered some things from them, shared them on my channel, and then the owner of the company was kind enough to send me this from their spring line. So make sure to check them out. I will link them below. I'm just using that as the base for my left side. And then on the right side, I'm using this paper um, from Paper House Productions. So I don't normally go super themey with any of my documenting, but this is just so perfect. My daughter is getting really into soccer. She's really enjoying um, playing some competitive soccer and doing some training this summer. So so that is that paper is going to come in super handy and it's just perfect for um you know to capture the memories of her first goalie camp and i actually thought i knew these pages were going to be near each other when i was um kind of planning out my traveler's notebook and i thought the colors in this paper would go well for Father's Day because they're a little bit more masculine for sure um, with the greens and the blacks and I thought I would be able to make these two pages coordinate and that can be tricky when you're doing two different subjects. Um, one of the things I always consider is if I'm trying to make embellishments coordinate or playing with things from different companies I try to do a range of colors, meaning it's all, it's not going to all be one green. And because I don't want it to all be one green, I'm going to put several different greens on the paper so that it can all come together and one doesn't feel out of place. I also really focus on repeating patterns, pieces that can go on either page. And that's what I'm going to do with this black and white piece. It will become a layering piece on the opposite page. And that way there's a pattern that's on both pages that brings them together. It's super neutral, um, but it's going to kind of tie the two pages together visually, even though the subject of the two pages really doesn't have much to do with each other. And the other elements on the pages are going to kind of you know, be hit or miss whether or not they coordinate. So you can see I have this particular card, which is actually from the paper person shop. So, so far I have three different companies working on these two traveler's notebooks, but you can combine different things. And I think it can be scary sometimes. And a lot of times we worry about whether or not the colors match up perfectly or the type of design or the finish. And really, I think supplies are meant to be mixed and matched and played with. And so I try to use all the different ones that kind of appeal to me. All right, I have this soccer sheet. I really wanted to use it because I liked the little soccer balls. It just wasn't, it wasn't working. I'll end up using it for something else later, but I'm just gonna have the picture of my daughter right there. There's not a lot of room for journaling. So I'm trying to figure out how am I gonna add journaling? And what I do is cut this card. It's a three by four card, which is too big to fit behind the picture, but I'm just gonna trim it out a little bit and use it to make some hidden journaling that I'll be able to slide right there behind her picture. So I have that set. Now I'm gonna take my attention over to the left side. I, I kind of know what's going on on the right. I don't really know what's going on on the left. That's a picture of all my kiddos giving their dad a huge hug on Father's Day. Big group hugs are the best. I'm going to use this teal card. It has a lot of green in it. I think it does bring in that green, that hint of green that you're seeing over. Um, you see so much green over on the right. So you're bringing in a tiny little bit of green over on the left. And then of course that black and white dot paper um, that really, really serves to bring the two pages together. So adding that 
on, once I know where I want elements to go, I don't really mess around. I go ahead and put them down and I make the decision. Now, labels. These are from Felicity Jane. They are sticker labels. I love them. I really, really love layering them to um, label different pictures. And I'm also going to use these labels to help bring these two pages together as well. So I have it over there on the left. I'm going, look at me, I'm still trying to use that soccer <laughs> sheet. It just didn't work out. And I said, okay, I need to put this down so I will stop picking up that other soccer card. I put adhesive on three sides and stick that photo down. And then I'm able to stick that journaling card right behind it. But first, labels. And again, I'm coordinating the two pages because it's the same type of labels but this time I'll put a gray label on top of a black one I switched it over there on the left just changing it up just a bit so it's a little bit different oh never mind I do that later I do it at the top of the page I'm sorry I got that wrong so black on top of gray still so now they're coordinating there's my soccer paper and my tab punch and finally I'm able to use those soccer balls. So I'm adding this tab onto my journaling card so that has a pull spot, just a little bit of adhesive on it, adding it to the back of the journaling card so it's a little bit stronger as it slides in. And now it will go in and it'll be easy to pull out and read the journaling later on. All right. Now trying to figure out what else these pages need and I reach for a new stamp set or at least a new to me stamp set. I was gifted this stamp set from Andrea who is known as Retro Hip Mama here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. She is so fun. I met her in Kansas at the craft retreat that I went to and she gifted everyone with a whole bunch of stuff like some really fun embellishment pieces and everyone got a little three by four stamp set. Mine is so cute. I have no idea what company it was from, where it is from, but it's just a cute stamp set with tons of little sayings. I love the size because it's really perfect for planning and for travelers notebook sized projects, which I think is probably why she picked it for me. I think it is so cute and I'm using it just to add a little bit of interest around the page, a few phrases about happy memories and the craziness. I put details, um, the details stamp over on my soccer ball tab right there. And then I'm adding this little arrow. And what it does is I'm adding it to the side of all of these phrases over here and it helps your eye. I mean, it's a really obvious way, but it helps your eye kind of move around the page, um, which I think is nice because you're framing out that picture of my kids um, and my husband just having this joyous, crazy time. And that's kind of uh, what our family is all about. Plus it's all those stamps are bringing in more black over on the left side, which is coordinating nicely because there is a ton of black over on the right side. Okay, so here are some Felicity Jane letters. Of course, black embellishments are going to be easy to mix and match between companies. Here's where I mix up the labels and on purpose, I decide to put gray on top of black just to change it up so it's not too repetitive. And then I bring those labels off the side of the page. So I use the alphas to put joy because that is exactly what my husband brings to our family. Um, he definitely brings the joy. And then over here, I messed around with some different words and I ended up going with camp just to you know be real direct about what was going on I did not center my letters very well so I have to pull them off I should have planned it out a little bit better but that's okay so camp right there and then this page will pretty much be done I have to add a little bit of journaling and a little bit more stamping but I'm trying to get my alphas all straight first am I the only one that has to pull up alphas almost every time let me know in the comments if you have to end up pulling up your alphas. I do almost every time. All right, so these are some tiny stamps. I got these at Michael's like years ago. They were like $2 for the set of little alpha stamps. I love them. I'm using them to stamp out Father's Day up here on the top just to label this. And I don't really need any more journaling for that particular day, but I do want some journaling on this camp page. So what I'm gonna do is pull out a white sheet of paper and then trace this piece onto the paper. So this is just regular printed paper. I'm tracing the piece on and then I'm going to take it over to my typewriter, do the typing. The reason I traced it out is so I would know how big, how wide I could go with my typing. And then I'm just going to trim that out and add it on to my page onto that little pull out card. And then this page will be done. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Do you have any tips or tricks about how you mix and match embellishments? Or do you like to just stick with one company per project? Let me know in the comments below. I've linked the supplies that I could find uh, down below. So make sure to check those out. A huge shout out to my YouTube members. You guys are awesome. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.